Boom, baby. There's a slam dancing. We've got a four link on. We've got all kinds of fabricating going on, but that's not what we're here for today, is it? What time is it, girl? Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. It's the shed. El Ray wants to do it in the shed. She don't want to be in the shop, so to the shed we go. It's warmer out here than it is in this old shed. So the bad news is Hot Rod woke up and had some real puffy eyes and stuff, so we kept her home from school. The good news is Dad gets to hang out with Hot Rod. And the good news is we can still do homework. Yay! <laughs> and math. Mm -hmm. I made her do some math and they asked to, to teach her how to measure with a ruler so we can cover that. How I said, I said the hell with that ruler, we just use that eagle eye, baby. <laughs> Rocky wrote us a pretty good letter here, but to sum it up, he's congratulating me on staying sober and quitting drinking. Uh, guys, that was a personal choice. I know y'all think my, my wife beat me with a stick till I sobered up, but that, that didn't happen. It was a personal choice for me to be able to try to go full time and be able to have full attention focus there. And uh, I'm not even struggling. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, best thing I ever did. So thank you, Rocky. And he even sent me out a, a little coin here that means a lot to him personally. And I will hold on to that uh, dearly there, Mr. Rocky. So thank you. Whoever drove this did a good job. So yeah, whoever, whoever drove this, or dr drove this, drew this. I'm guessing Mr. David here, he did a good job. That's a yeehaw if I've ever seen one. Thank you there, David. I have a little collection of these that I will be adding this to. Hey, what's it called if the front tires come off the ground? A hot wheelie. A hot wheelie. That's some top-notch artwork right there, David. Let's see. What in the world? Is that? <laughs> Old Jacob Puddin' Warner, YouTuber, fabricator, dancing king. <laughs> Where? The office door is going to say CEO, and then this will be underneath it. <laughs> we don't have a note on that one, but as CEO, founder, operator, editor, mechaniker, uh, parts picker upper, parts chaser downer, vehicle chaser, and everything else at Puddin's Fab Shop, we greatly appreciate the, the title there. I just don't know who it came from, so I appreciate that. We need one that says Hot Rod Stinker. Wild child. Wild child. What else? Crazy one. Crazy one. She just described that perfect. What is this? Ooh, jewels. Thought the girls would have fun playing with these since you get all the tools. Love the videos. Billy King and Diane. Let's see if we got some good ones here. I already found a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's for, isn't it? I'm a genie <laughs> Are you great in wishes? What's your wish? Uh, I wish for the best kids in the world. I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> She's quicker witted than me, y'all. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I'm in jail. That's cool. I like it. Tie dye. Mm -hmm. We got the old serape. I'm gonna be fancy up for my birthday. Ooh, girl, you sassy. Put that on and strut it, queen. Ooh. Ooh. You like that one? It's All right. right. I should have had the tie dye for my birthday. Yeah. I was in tie dye. Speaking of birthday, Hot Rod's got a birthday coming up. On Friday. Thank you guys for all the jewelry. I may have more fun with it than the girls. You never know. Oh. oh. Ooh, what's this? You know what it is? What kind of track? Does that look like that one that's sitting in the shop over there? Is that it? Yep. Hold on. Sort of. Look at the door. You see that little thing on the door? Above that? Like right here? Yeah. Is that it? Well, this don't... Just look at the front half, baby. It doesn't have... It's right there. Yes! Is it it? Oh yeah, that one used to say 73. This one used to say Puddin's Fab Shop Weldon Customs. 
uh, Eagle Eye, and more. Get back here, girl. Ooh. But thank you, whoever sent it. Yeah, we're not sure who sent it. Uh, there ain't no letter in there. But uh, she's just about the right color, too, to match what that one used to look like. But now we got us a nice little dance in here. Mouse milk penetrating oil. I'll tell you. Thank you, because I hate mouse. <laughs> this ain't for mouse, baby. Oh. Muscle and a hustle. I like how they rhyme. I guarantee you that. I guarantee all this stuff's good because that, that mouse right there is wearing a set of bibs. So I know he don't play around one bit. Mouse milk is unsurpassed for rust removal, particularly from studs, bolts, nuts, cable slides, and aircraft linkage. According to this list, this thing can do anything and everything. So I'm excited to try out the old mouse milk. Wait, it's for milk. Yep. Did you drink it? No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Aw, it's a doggy. Gonna be lover, show. He Ryan Curtis, so I don't know. Hi, <laughs> Puddin, we love your show. This mouse milk is something my husband got, and he loves it as a penetration oil to loosen old bolts. We had never heard of it before until my brother-in-law told us about it. Thought, thought it was a joke. Anyway, thought y'all could try it on some of your projects. Loyal fans, Dan and Deborah Coon. Well, thanks, Dan and Deborah. I'm excited to try it out. I ain't had to read cursive since like third grade, so. I know how to spell cursive, but I cannot read it. There you go. I think it's the first part. Mm-hmm. But I cannot do this. Y'all know we always like those shop supplies, so I'm excited to try that stuff out. Mr. Steve Sanders. Hey. Look. <laughs> oh, you... You're going to have all the little bracelets, girl. <laughs> Wait, what is this? So Mr. Steve here sent us out some big key chains. Those are pretty big. You ain't got to worry about losing those. I feel like I could take one and go freaking hunting with it. Get us a bird for dinner or something. Those little suckers are heavy. Uh, hey... They matched our colors to some of our vehicles there. You can see the old Yeehaw edition. The bracelet is for a hot rod. Tell her to put it on and go outside and watch it. Watch the magic happen. Huh. Magic? Oh. <laughs> is it birds singing? Tee. You never know. Birds tweet. I'm going outside. She turned into a princess, y'all. <laughs> I will leave you with this thought. A daughter may outgrow your lap, but she will never outgrow your heart. Sincerely, Steve Sanders. Wait, what? Do you outgrow my lap? Or do you still sit in Dad's lap sometimes? Uh, huh? Barely. Yeah, your legs are longer than mine now. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Yes! Yeah, we just measured each other in the house with a tape measure. What size was I? 47 and a half inches. I think you were like 71. 71 on the dot. So we appreciate them, Steve. I feel like El Ray's just going to play with these. <laughs> I think it's for you. I think I'd look a little ridiculous in that. <laughs> it might be a little too small for that. It says, I heart my pudding. I don't know who this it is for. Mama? I think it says, I love my pudding. Mm-hmm. Not I love You think mom would wear that? No. No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> She'd probably say, uh, not happening. We don't have no note in there. This one come at the same time, I think. It just says pudding. That's me. Yeah, that's you. Looks good. And it's big. So. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. People see me in the glasses and the hat and the bibs, and they usually know who I am around here. <laughs> so I'm not sure who sent out the shirts. We didn't have no notes. But Amazon, Amazon's lacking in the note department, I think, because last video, I didn't hardly have any, and there's people saying that they were supposed to have had notes with them. Oh, that one, yeah, that that one, one pulled open. open. Boy, what in the world? Yeah. We got us some rain gear here. 
Y'all want to see more bushcrafting, don't you? <laughs> Is it like a big backpack? Oh. Yeah, it's a. Oh. And so when you're in the rain, you can wear it and it don't get your clothes all wet, baby. The, the rain rolls right off of it. Thought you might could use this when you do your pressure washing so you don't get your bibs all wet and cold from Ryan Smith. What's the bibs? My overalls. I actually don't mind when I'm pressure washing because I'm, I'm pretty good at keeping it off me. But I do hate the rain like 100%. I'm either a, a jump in the pool or take a shower and be 100% soaked or I don't want to get wet. I do not like getting wet, sprinkled on whatever. What I'm telling you is we'll put her to work one way or another. Yeah, like when you're in the rain and your clothes get wet, it feels weird. Yeah, gross. Yeah. Well, that's why I have a small umbrella. Um, whatever, my name. And rain, whatever. What's it called again? Umbrella? Umbrella. Um, Hot um, rod cannot go anywhere without an umbrella. It I don't matter if one sprinkle come out the sky, we got to take 30 minutes to leave so she can work her umbrella everywhere she goes. <laughs> yeah. Even at school. Yeah, even at school. Don't, don't don't worry about that. 40 cars back there we got backed up. At least Hot Rod has her umbrella. It's sprinkled twice. <laughs> so we appreciate that. Oh, I don't think this one's for you. I think this was probably like, they knew I would want this. I so. This is what I love. Oh, you little liar. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of sour bright crawlers, baby. I'm gonna eat it in one day. Oh, yeah, that's all we need. Ella bouncing everywhere. Bing, 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 bing. Red's last tree. And then you got me in a glove. <laughs> well, we gotta sample them. We gotta, hey, we gotta sample them. Just don't tell your mom what color you want. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Woo! Sour too. A little sour? Yeah. Says sour. <laughs> Make them old cheeks sting. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> <laughs> I've cried during mail time before, but not from a damn gummy worm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a gummy worm. See, we don't have a note on that one neither. I told you there was nothing in there. That's enough, Dad. You had like four. Mom. So thank you, whoever sent out the gummy worms. They're delicious. Uh oh. What is it? That says ship from U-Haul Fulfillment Center. <laughs> mm, that's actually pretty good. Interesting thing about U-Haul, you can get on their website, and they sell parts for all their rigs. So everyone who's like, oh. You can't, those yeehaws are illegal for you to own. They would have never sold them. That's not true, one. They have their own website where they sell their used vehicles. And I got the for sale sign from them that come with the original yeehaw. And I got a title in my name, so I don't know how y'all think it's illegal for you two people who think that. But also, they sell parts straight to the public. You can get on their website and buy parts for any yeehaw you want. Oh, baby, that is sweet. Oh, that's sour. <laughs> I get excited over the dumbest stuff sometimes, y'all, but check this shirt out. It's pretty cool. And I didn't mean to call your present dumb, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying that. Who would have thought of a blueprint U-Haul shirt? But that thing is sweet. And just like here, we, uh, we research, design, engineer, test, build, and sustain. <laughs> That should say puddingsfabshop.com. Hell, that, that's us to a T. Oh, from the old technical center. She acts like I can't hear them gummy worms because I'm excited about this shirt. So that that's pretty stinking cool right there. What in the world? U-Haul makes their own little USB charger there. That's pretty neat. <laughs> and then there we go. We got the old Air Force symbol, which yes, I was in the Air Force for six years and you don't see me with a lot of whatever you call this stuff showing the air force stuff but i got a spot right over here for that you know where the spot's gonna go in my room <laughs> i believe hot rod just claimed that so if you thought it was gonna become a collector's item uh she's gonna definitely tear it up playing with it <laughs>
which is good. Not in a, I meant like tear it up like you're going to speed with it, not like oh, mess it I up. Like... Looky there, just perfect height to match our old moose crossing from the Canada there. So we appreciate that there, Tech Sergeant Dunn, and I will wear that U-Haul sh uh, shirt with pride. That's old Jeremy from the Sweet Patina calling me. Call. We'll call him back in a minute. What we got there? I have no idea. We got some jumbo size zip ties, baby. We got plenty of small ones. We actually need some big ones, so whoever sent this out again. Thank you. No note from the Amazon. They're slacking in the note department. But we did need some big ones, and here they are. And thank you. And thank you. <laughs> when do we start doing that? I have no idea. <laughs> a genie in the bottle. I mean, ninja, sort of. Oh. A genie in the bottle. Ninja, I jump. All right. <laughs> no! My gummies. What are gummies? Dear Puddin, keep up the videos. I got you the jar of pickles you're going to use the Yeehaw to get. Best pickles you ever put your lips around. Hot damn yours truly, Shane from Ohio. I did say I was going to take that thing to get a jar of pickles or something, didn't I? And I never did. Boy, sometimes uh, I just talk so much I can't remember what all I, I throw out there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm a sucker for some pickles. Hot damn deals right there, baby. <laughs> Wait, it's something, it's something red in there. Oh my goodness, are man this company supposed to be working together? Are y'all, you can't even make this up. <laughs> You're so excited. Yeehaw, pickle, hot damn deals. Are y'all kidding me? Oh, I already know it's going to be the best damn pickle I ever tasted. You ain't going to tell me nothing. I love pickles. Uh, we know, because you eat one like every single day. And you love those, whatever you call them. Mm, mm, mm. Those are good. I got some, they got a little bit of heat on them. Just about right. Then what's that red thing? Pepper. Want one? Nope. Put hair on your chest. <laughs> well, I did, I'll shave it. Oh, baby, we got a, you, you know they're good. We got a damn cowboy hat on a pickle right there. I don't know. Yeehaw pickles. I'm getting a hold of these folks. Dad, you got something. It must be something heavy. If anyone, if someone on this send it, well, thank you, but never know. It might be something that he bought. Tools. This it ain't tools, there. but I do think I know what that is. And since we're doing mail time, we might as well open it. But not until we uh, tell Shane thank you for these yeehaw pickles. Those are damn good. They're, those are staying. I'm going to keep those hid out in the old shop. That way the girls don't snack on them. I and know what, these. Yeah, I know what she's going to snack on now. You leave those in the shop and Dad's going to have a tummy ache by 5 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Puddin's Fab Shop Silver Gray whatever koozie. Don't y'all worry. These babies are two-sided. How could you see those to pick them up? I can't see them. They're camouflaged. Oh, there they are. Yeah, we got them in the camouflage too, baby. No one's already open. And of course, you got to keep them classic with a black, black koozie. Before I had this koozie, my drink was always hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're teaching her how to advertise. Did that koozie fix your drink and it's now it all better? Yes. Yes. Don't y'all be mad when you see me and old Hot Rod doing commercials for like Bounty and all the big names. Once we get, once we get seen and our talent gets recognized, we're going to blow up for advertising. But seriously, be looking for koozies. Uh, we've been out of those things for a while, so it'll be nice having them back in stock. And a few options to choose from. I don't think we need anything else. We got... Spicy pickles, cold drinks. What else do you need? Candy, Mary. I can't eat. <laughs> oh no. I don't do politicking on the channel. Y'all know that, but this is kind of funny. I make many trucks run again. <laughs> oh, baby. Of course, you got the hot damn on the back. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, did I say what? That's a good one right there. Boom. Oh. Boom. <laughs> That's for a little head. That ain't going to cut it on me. 
want to cut on me either. Mm. Peace out. Oh, back. Pinkins back. Oh. Oh. Dad gonna tweak his back trying to pose. And you're gonna break an ankle. <laughs> Here's a good hat for your will it runs from Matt. I appreciate it, Matt. That's a pretty good hat right there. I make many trucks run again. I appreciate it for this. Okay. And LRA likes her hat. Yeah. But... Girl, you want a new hat? Just for that good advertising you did with them koozies. Oh. Dad's got you a fresh new one right Look. there. Look at that. Not even dirty. And, oh. Okay, this is a little too small. To Cold. Say. Refreshing. <laughs> Why did you give me that? Ugh. Hey, Puddin, it looked like the tow roller needed a drop hitch, so here's an adjustable hitch, an interchangeable ball to tow them all. I also included a new points and condenser I had on the shelf. Figured you'd get more use out of them than me. Keep up the good work. From Neil Murray. Man, I appreciate it, because you ain't, you ain't joking. That old tow roller, she needs the, the drop addition. Bam, looky, they're full adjustable. What in the world? I've never seen a quick change ball. How's this work? Oh, I think Whoa! Huh. I think of something. Well, looky there. We sure do trust a lot in them little springs, don't we? <laughs> yep. I feel like you hit the right pothole here in Pot County, and you'll know it. That baby's gonna bounce off there. Maybe not. She's patent pending. She claims she can haul 8,000 pounds. So that's like seven of my trucks. That was from Neil Murray. This says Neil Malaga. We got back-to-back -back Neil packages. She's a little bit lighter than the other one. Got us another hat here. Okay. Pete Beef King, Pot County Cattlemen's Association. This is the sticker that was on our 64 Ford Lucy. It looks like a sloth. <laughs> This is the Richardson 112 hat here, and we got some of them coming in hot, so y'all, if you like those hats, just wait. Hey, buddy, one of my favorite videos was the truck Lucy, and when you said this decal was your favorite part of the truck, I thought it would be cool to make this hat for you. Hope you like it. From Neil, Jackie, and Claire, we support you from Westland, Michigan. That's way up there. Thank you for your videos. P.S. If you give us a shout-out on a video, we would love it. Sincerely, Neil. Well, consider this your shout out. <laughs> Guys, uh, one, I do appreciate the hat and that sticker was my favorite part of that truck and still is. So now I've got part of that on my forehead, which is really cool. But then uh, I kind of addressed this in last week's video. Some people may see it, they may not. But I, I bet I have like 20 to 30 people asking me weekly just for shout outs. I could almost make a video for an hour and a half just saying people's names. Uh -huh. uh, and that's kind of why I don't do the whole shout out thing because you do it for one person and then the 30 others want to know why they didn't get theirs, you know what I mean? So I do appreciate you sending this and wash me, not washing me, <laughs> just watching me, okay? Don't wash me uh, up there in Michigan and maybe it'll warm up for y'all before too long. And if not, man, Hot Rod will be down here enjoying this perfect t-shirt weather. <laughs> We already said this, but we love the gummies. We have like <laughs> 10 in here. Yeah, she's getting all hyped up. That'll take care of that one for you. <laughs> Sir Pudding of Pot County. Oh man, here we go again. I know who this is. This is straight out of Odessa, Texas. This has got to be Mr. Bo. It's the gentleman who got a hold of me. And everyone wants to know my glasses, those glasses I've been wearing, if they're all prescription. And they are. And I can see out of them perfect. And... I got a hold of Bo after taking a couple of things to the eye and asked if he happened to do prescription safety glasses. And he said, well, I do. And I've got a pair I call the eight and a half finger shop teacher or something like that. And I said, tempt them babies rose gold and send them to me. I think <laughs> when you eat all those gummies, you're hyper up now. I told you. <laughs> hey, Puddin, I ran out of bubble wrap to keep the glasses from rattling around the box but i had some freebie shirts from another supplier so i guess that works enjoy the new safety glasses or as much as anyone can enjoy ppe i dang sure can and i hope you never have to test them for their intended purpose my wife and i truly enjoy your videos and your humor so thank you to you and your family for sticking it out this long i don't know why i just forgot how to read 
Keep up the hard work, and we will see you Mondays at 6. That's from Bo. P.S. Is it too much to ask for a Mopar every once in a while? Bo, have you seen the prices of anything Mopar? I can't even afford to say it or spell it, much less buy one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> it sounded like Mickey there for a second. <laughs> Sound like Mickey? The mouse? Mickey Mouse? Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Gum Duck, Daisy. Like, like. Oh boy, Pluto! Yes! <laughs> Sound goofy. Goofy? <laughs> Gosh! Where did you get this all from? Oh! <laughs> Speaking of goofy, boy, here they are. Oh, what in the world? Flip out safety uh, oh, corner, whatever's. These things are perfect. Oh my goodness, and I can just see so clear out of them, guys. The, the rows or whatever they are tent it makes my vision like a hundred times better it's just it's awesome and no one can deny that these babies when you think of the word style you know look it up in webster you're gonna see me what in the harry potters we got going on here like harry potter done hopped up in shop class or something oh get them on girl let's see you oh girl you look good oh yeah we can swap those out Man, I don't know if we're going to beat these. These are, and they fit just perfect. I can barely see. Oh, yeah, that's because they're for Daddy. Yeah. Oh, baby. So that's that's kind of just like what we've been rocking, I it think. Hurts my eyes. Pretty close. And then they got the safety shields on them, too. So these are like if we want to look classy. Oh, those babies. These babies fit perfect, too. Man. It took some of my hair. Uh-oh, that ain't a question, that's a statement. <laughs> now what good are side shields with little holes in them? Ain't that, what are we gonna do? Let just a little small piece through and get me from the side bow? What the heck? Oh, these babies are tinted blue. I know, I couldn't see them though. I was like, ah. We're gonna have to get the extendo kit on these if they're gonna fit me. Or maybe they're, oh, they'll wrap around like I'm calling the plays in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Those babies just suction cup to your face. That's why they got breathy holes. Bo, these things are perfect. I love these things right here. They fit perfect. They feel perfect. I know they look perfect. They're, what else could you ask for, folks? I appreciate it, Bo. You keep me seeing good. You keep me looking good. And all that just turns into me feeling good. <laughs> we got a pair for every occasion, don't we? Bam, those things are sweet. Best part is we can holster them with our new balances if we need to. Then if I get in a dangerous situation, boom, baby, right there on the hip. Perfecto. They're not as nice as I remember, but I bet your polisher dude can fix them right up from Kenny. Kenny has sent us an air tank for the Datsun. Those tabs we trimmed down for the uh, rear end on the four link. Uh, Kenny has sent us out some stuff. He's got a couple of quarters and whatnot. And he's got a set of these Mazda center caps, and we got that old tan one still. Uh, I ain't forgot it. I just ain't had time to get to her yet. But we may give her a little makeover. I've even thought about making it a giveaway truck kind of thing. So we'll see what happens there. Kenny, I appreciate you sending out these caps, man. I only needed one. Kenny sends out a whole set to us, it looks like. I don't think we appreciate that, Kenny. Uh, yes. You can never have too many center caps, especially full sets. It don't matter how beat up they are. And they do look nice. <laughs> Hot Rod approved. Yes, but you just said they don't look nice. They do look charm and clean. Oh, charm and clean. Hi, Puddin. Just wanted to say thank you for all the videos. I love them. Been watching most of them from Washington State near Seattle. I absolutely love the Yeehaw videos and wanted to get something for you to display in the shop. I need some work and customization just like the old Yeehaw, but you should love it. Anyways, I got a few things I want to send your way in a few days for you and Miss Elray. Hope it's spelt correctly that you will love. I'll include a copy of this in the box, but hopefully this will find you well here or there. Look at that. We got some U-Haul uh, little advertisements and 
you're right we do have a few of these that are for like the the Datsun and international and i keep telling y'all one day i'm gonna have a place to frame all this stuff and hang it up and oh baby that's got the e-haul on it i didn't even notice that there she was when she was in her prime guys there she is just part of the old lineup look at that big old fleet big ford to little ford I can't even imagine finding one in good shape that ain't beat up. They've all been whooped on. That is stinking awesome, man. That's what we're shielding right there. We got the old... Boy, it's like... That's Lucy right there, almost. 64 Ford. Let me put it right here. Oh, she's got working front axle. This baby's got... They put twin I-beams on this. That's Just It actually has an I-beam suspension like the Ford would have had. That is freaking awesome. I've seen these. I've never owned one or picked one up. That's a good little made old toy right there. That's cool. That thing is awesome. Man, they need to bring back that old school U-Haul logo because it looks a hundred times better. We might have to knock we might have to knock it off on something. Huh. Yeah, do a little retro version. Oh, Yeehaw Retro Edition. Now you're thinking, I, I don't think these are going to fit me. Oh, yeah! Yes, baby! Oh, girl. Woo. Get you some overalls. I don't think he knows my size. Well, he's trying. Well, at least I'm going to be eight next year. Oh, look at the back. Come here. I mean, front. Mm hmm. Hey, you're, girl, you're there. We can cuff them bottoms. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh? We got them look, look at that. That matches your shirt right now. Almost perfect. That's meant to be, girl. Ooh, girl, there you go. Shorts and overalls. Okay, those, that will definitely fit me. Yeah, those are cool. We used to have some kind of like this, didn't we? We did. Yeah. There we go, baby. Got you some new sizes. Yeah, that little we pocket. Did. Put your little sour gummy worms right up in there. Yes. For <laughs> school tomorrow. It might go. For school. <laughs> if I do go. Be, be, be sitting there doing work. Pull yeah, gummy worm. <laughs> that was a scene. So Austin, we appreciate everything. Obviously, uh, the U-Haul stuff's just awesome. Especially that little advertisement with the with the old Yeehaul on it. And this thing is just awesome. Of course, Hot Rod likes her bibs. So we appreciate all the support there. Pudding and family, thanks for all the great videos and all the great belly laughs. We wanted to send you some items to help you on your adventures. Also, enclose our ingredients to two of our favorite cakes. Also, our favorite jerky and orange slice from local Amish store, along with some stuff Hot Rod has to have. Love your family and all your videos. Keep up the great work and all the laughter you have. Wishing you much success. We love our shirts and stickers and plan on buying more. Mark and Audrey. Heatherly, P.S. My friends call me Hillbilly, and I managed to push these certifications through for you. <laughs> Woo! Uh-oh. Certified Hillbilly. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. This, I'm official, y'all. Hang that baby with pride. <laughs> Hillbilly certified engine bay firefighter. Put in fab shop. I, I, I told y'all. All right, I'm certified. I can put them engine bays out like that. Just, I don't even think about it. More candy! Yeah, yeah that's all we need. It's hot rod to have some more candy right that now. cheese? Oh, not those cheese. Ooh, it's this. Oh, the color things. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, they're the smell good pens. Holy stickers. We got Prince's lambs. Prince's lambs. No, the stickers are coming for you. Ooh, girl, you got all the Disney Disney princesses. Actually, I have all of them. Oh, that's oh, doggy. Ah! Ooh, what's that say? What's that say? Mm -hmm. It says poo poo. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Is that? La chick poo poo lip gloss, the fancy chicken poo. What? You like your lipstick, so there you go. Put some chicken poop on them. <laughs> Oh. oh man, we ain't got beef jerky in a minute. I'm starving and I do love some beef jerky. That's about a 30 pound bag right there. Look at that chunk. Yeah. 
You get your stuff and I get my pack of candy. Let's chill out. Boober. Mmm. All we need is a spicy pickle with that and we got dinner. So, you got a big bag? I got a big bag. You got healthy stuff? I got candy. Perfect! Uncle Mike's got it going on. I guarantee that. That's good. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, that's sweet. Mmm. We gonna make us a cake. Hold on. What we got going on here? We're going to have it. There we go. There's us a recipe. We're going to bake us a cake. When? Hmm? When? I don't know. <laughs> Probably mom will not let us. <laughs> oh my gosh. We oh. all our snacks in here. At least if dad sets the kitchen on fire, he knows how to put it out and he's certified. What do we got here? A boroscope? Mm -hmm. Can you see? No. We're going to have to figure out how to use this thing. do anything for you? Not at all. <laughs> so mama done took her recipes and carried them towards the house. They already started gathering her stuff and left dad all alone. Looks like we got us some heliocoil kits here, some taps, some vacuum plugs, every JB Weld product you could think of. Now here's a little goodie bag. You must have seen me pull them threads on that intake manifold for that old yeehaw. <laughs> it's a bee in the house. Uh oh, look at this. What's that? You can draw on it, it lights up kind of like your board. Yeah. That's cool. Is it for mom? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We I could have it in the shop to do, look all fancy. No, or, I mean, no. you could have drawing contest on it. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh, look, we can put the old Wi Fi password 77. I see that number every day. I tell y'all it's my lucky number. Tomorrow's 77. Something significant is going to happen tomorrow it's in my on life. Your foot. Mm hmm And your hand. Mm hmm Big thank you to Mark and Audrey for that. That was a big old box of stuff. Y'all y'all covered everything. We had fun stuff, food stuff, tool stuff. Had all the stuff. Yeah, we had all the stuff technically. <laughs> technically. We got tools, we got uh, we got a tool, we got food, we got everything. We support that so much. Thank you very much. Support Finally. The Gotta support them overalls, girl. Get them in the house. And you know that I have short jeans now, mm -hmm. long jeans, and a dress jeans. <laughs> and a jean jacket. And real jeans up for your feet. <laughs> I got jeans everywhere. All right. I think you, candy. you had enough candy there, jeans. That girl ate one too many sour gummy worms. I guarantee it. Dad's got her all hyped up. We'll just send her in there with mom. It'll be okay. <laughs> Boy, I just popped in the house, and she's got stickers and markers and everything everywhere. <laughs> Y'all only thought we were done. That's because I thought we were done. My wife just got back from doing some running around. There's a couple more packages at the old P.O. box, so might as well knock them all out, right? A gift for you. Enjoy your gift. We got thread pitch checker on the back. We got a filler gauge, whole size, special deluxe. She can measure in millimeters. She can measure in inches. She can do it all, baby. I feel like I can almost see y'all through these glasses. It's so clear. It's unreal. I ain't took these things off in the last six hours. And we got a new little uh, template pattern for our circles, which is good because I, I just burned up our other one, which it went up to a two and a half inch hole. But for mapping out holes, these babies are your best friend right here. So I don't know who sent this out, but thank you. Must have known I just caught my one on fire. Hey, Puddin, send you a very old set of Weber's 44 side draft cards. I hope you can use them somehow in one of your projects. They may be missing parts, but I'm positive you can rebuild them or make two to one. 
Have I said I enjoy every content from Monday's episodes to meal times. Wish you the best. Lots of blessings to you and your family. That's from Carlos Pensakin from New Jersey. Pensakin. Hey, he spelled her out for me so I could pronounce it. Some side drafts? Getting fancy. There's the Ramflow air breathers. Oh, baby. I have never actually held a side draft carburetor or even been up close to one before. Look at you there. She says Weber and made in Italy, so that baby's real deal. I'd be lost as eight day clock trying to get into this thing. I don't know what's what. Is that our accelerator pump? It's just a damned old carburetor. They'll run. That's a matching pair right there. How much will they flow? We don't care, baby. This gentleman actually messaged me on the Instagram, told me he's sending them out. He had them mounted on a wall, which is probably where they'll go for a little bit with us because I don't have anything we got to put them on right away. <laughs> Damned old dad's in delivery. She'll put all the power to the ground with that nice triangulated four link. This baby be shitting and getting. They're gonna make one hell of a wall hanger for now anyhow. And yeah, I think that'd be fun to try to tune on one day, see if we can't make them operate. So that's a big thank you to Carlos. These things are sweet looking. And last but not least, we got this big old box here. Holy cow. Uh-huh, ram board. This must be someone wanting me to maybe use it as uh, template material. That's what it looks like to me. We're gonna have to use my best guess because there ain't no note in here. Oh, maybe there is. You always gotta check the old packing list. Just a few things to make template making easier. Love your content and projects. Love to love to the family from Carl Click Cliven Click Cliff. <laughs> Carlos wrote it out for me. You know, he made it easy. Carl Clevenger. It wasn't that hard. I was just struggling. <laughs> so Carl also sent us out our other template making materials here. Mm-hmm. Did a little measuring here. I can see why you like this stuff. Cuts easy. I don't mind giving her a little sample. I don't know why I grabbed a straight edge and a tape measure. Like you didn't hand me or send me that damn thing. Classic cutoff wheel. They're they're good for uh, making templates. Quick little radius job. Oh yeah, that wouldn't hurt nothing. Slap a dimple die right there on the back. We could do a smaller one right up there even. Maybe go down to three quarter inch. That stuff's perfect for templates, so I appreciate that. Uh, that's actually what I'm getting on first thing in the morning. I'm gonna take this baby to Gusset City. We're gonna gusset her like nobody's business. Uh, so I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support. Uh, man, y'all are just great, okay? What a life, very blessed, very thankful, very grateful, talking very fast with a lot of uh, good, big joy in my heart, all right? I'll see you guys next time and yeah, y'all are awesome. Hot damn, there's so much BSRE, we had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet.